Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is Boring Objects Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes Today I'm going to talk about swimming pools Swimming pools I thought if I said it twice, it would have some kind of dramatic effect. But having said it twice, I realized that it kind of sounded like I'd forgotten that I'd already said it. Had some kind of weird short-term memory issue. Sounded like I had some kind of weird short-term memory issue. So, today, I'd like to talk about swimming pools. Swimming pools. And... I suppose I should, well, maybe, don't have to, but I'm not really a swimmer. By that, I don't mean that I couldn't enter for the Olympics. I mean, I really can't swim. Although I can, but I can't. So, it's not really as straightforward and straight cut as uh, well, as a swimming pool I guess it's quite straight isn't it my first experience in my memory was Well, it had nothing to do with swimming pools, actually. So I guess if I just focus on swimming pools, my first memory of swimming pools was walking through the... I don't know what that is, the liquid that you walk through. Is it bleach? Whatever that you walk through in order to um, make sure your feet are clean before getting into the swimming pool. I mean, I remember when I was a little kid, I used to think, what about me bum? That's much dirtier than my feet. I mean, as far as I know, poo has never come out of my toes. That's what I used to think back then. That's when I realized that I was an intellectual. And I was on a course for great things. Yeah. But I remember walking through that. It was like a tiny little pool of coloured water, I don't think it was if it was red I, th- I had this memory of it being red or yellow or something like that maybe blue but it wasn't it wasn't rainbow coloured but that's quite a difficult colour to put together isn't it I think on a static page a rainbow colour works or in a painting, or as an you know a design, rainbow is a is it works really well. But in liquid form, it just starts to mix together, so it doesn't work quite as well. 
but I don't think it was rainbow colour. Someone told me it was for Veruca's. I remember saying, but I don't want a Veruca. They said, no, it doesn't give you Veruca's. It stops um, the spread in the Veruca's in the swimming pool. And I remember thinking, well, if anything, isn't it going to spread Veruca's? Because one person walks through there that has a Veruca and the other 35 people walks into the water afterwards that and won't they get that Veruca juice on their toes and their feet but I didn't have anyone to ask that question for because there was no one in charge of the little pool. But there was the first time I went to a swim pool because although this person wasn't in charge of that little bit, they did come over to me and say, um, you're not supposed to sit in there. That's the uh, foot foot wash. I just thought it was like a, a, a just a smaller swimming pool for people that couldn't swim. I thought it was like a training pool, but uh, it wasn't. So that's my first memory. Being, you know, using that, what I thought was a little paddling pool. And getting into the swimming pool, into the, 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 what's it? The shallow area, the shallow end. And even the shallow end was quite deep for me because I was only about two foot tall. So I had to wear these, is it water wings? You know, the, the plastic blow up, inflatable blow up things that you put at the top of your arm. When you're putting them on, it feels a little bit like you're having your blood pressure done. Yeah. So that was good, and that kept me afloat. But then I also used a, when I was able to, a polystyrene... It was a little bit like a, a polystyrene surfing board, but like a mini one. One that you would um, maybe put, or, you know, you, you could lie on it with a, around about your chest and your stomach area. Or you could hold it with, your, with both your hands and flap your legs and feet and, you know, swim along. Hard to do with just one hand because for some reason it seems to just pop out of your hand. But with two hands, it's a lot easier. Um, very much like digging coal, two handed is, is better. Playing tennis, I guess you could technically be one handed but you probably would need both hands I'm trying to think of other things that need or that you could do with just one hand 
darts. Darts, knife throwing. I mean, I, I guess there's not many people have knife knife throwing as a as an occupation. But then this was never really about occupations. It was about swimming pools. When I was a young child, they didn't used to be called swimming pools. They used to be called swimming baths. Now, I misunderstood. And uh, a couple of times was kicked out. shout at me saying take your soap with you and your flannel and all your little toys your little frog that swims along and your rubber duck I was having a bath that's what I was trying to explain I was having a I took soap and a flannel and I was actually washing myself in the in the that's why they they were telling me to get my soap and that's why they were shouting at me to come back and retrieve my soap because sometimes you know when you're washing and you've got the soap in both hands and if your hands are wet and the soap is wet and they're very slippery sometimes when you push your hands together nothing happens, it just stays there Other times it might shoot out and uh, hit a member of staff. So the swimming pool staff weren't always friendly to me. It's almost like they'd expect me to turn up and have a big wash or maybe take some laundry with me and, you know, just, but as I said myself, I'll bring them, I'm bringing the laundry, but it's my mum that's washing me, she's the one doing it. They said, yeah, but you, it was your idea. And I said, how, how do you know it's my idea? I'm a four-year-old child. What ideas am I likely to ever really have? They, they didn't have an answer to that. They didn't have an answer. So there was my mum washing the clothes at the side of the swimming pool. I'd, and they were trying to blame it on me just because I was there foaming up and having a shave and stuff. Like, no, it's not fair. I don't think it's fair for me to take the blame for the whole family's actions. My gran was the other side of the pool and um, washing the dishes. I wasn't responsible for what she did. Definitely wasn't responsible for all the singing. I remember them saying to me, this is 
as bad as it's ever gone. We've never been so shocked in all our lives. We've never seen such lack of respect towards other members of the public and uh, just a basic disregard and contempt for the rules of this swimming baths. And I didn't know what contempt meant. I knew it wasn't a type of ravioli. I knew that. But I wasn't, you know, it's just a process of elimination. But I didn't really know what it meant. And I wanted to ask the, the man in the swimming pool who was shouting at me about my disregard for the rules and my utter contempt. I wanted to ask him what contempt meant because, I mean, I would have Googled it, but Google didn't exist. In 1974, I think it was the next year it came out, 75, and the i, I think yeah, the iPad was 76, yeah, and so I thought, how do I, how do I kind of manoeuvre around? the subject of asking the lifeguard what the word contempt means. So I thought, I'd just build up to it. So I went up to him and said, hi Mr. Lifeguard. He said, oh, hello. I said, could you uh, uh, answer me a question, please? What what does aromatic mean? And he said, what? I said, oh, can you tell me what aromatic means? He said, why, why would you ask me that? I said, well... To be honest, I wanted to, I don't know if you remember, but you, you were shouting earlier, telling me that I had nothing but contempt for the rules of this swimming pool. And he said, do you mean swimming, swimming baths? I said, look, you say potato, I say that's how I say it as well. He said, that doesn't make, that's not the right saying. It's, it's potato, potato. I said, no one has ever called it potato. I think the probably right word would be tomato, tomato. Why would someone call tomatoes tomatoes it doesn't even r r roll off your tongue does it tomato tomatoes 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 no doesn't roll he said can you get to the point please there's uh, people to save that little girl there she's been screaming for about 30 seconds I need to go and help her can you can you hurry up with what you're saying? I said, okay. And I was wondering what you meant by contempt. He said, oh. He said, well, that's the feeling I have for you right now. And it's a probably the feeling that that little girl's parents are having for me right now. 
goodbye. I still didn't understand what it meant. He was quite a rude man, really. Although I found out later that, because I was only young, he was only about 16. But it's just still. He was nine foot three. It's very tall. I don't know why I added the, the words very tall next to nine foot three. I think even the most... Uh, Basic of humans will be able to comprehend that nine foot <laughs> nine foot three is quite tall in it. So there was that swim pool. That was the first one that I remember going to. At one point the I think it was the manager of the swimming pool who came in and said uh, to me and my family, because we were all there at this point, my dad came to have a to have a nice bath because he was a coalman, worked down the mines, so he, he used to get very dirty, so he used to come in and uh, wash himself off. And the manager of the swimming pool said to well he said it to my dad it was almost like I was invisible and he said you're banned from coming here again you're not allowed we're banning you you are so disrespectful towards the rules and you have completely soiled the entire premises how 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 did coal deposits get on the ceiling honestly all over the windows it's almost like some coal miners dirty protest here and we don't understand or like it and my dad said something to him and I didn't understand what was going on because it didn't make sense to me my dad said if you ban us we'll tell your boss about all the cameras you've got hidden around here we never got hassled again so I've got no idea why we I was, you know, it's only, it's only two weeks old at the time. But I don't know how. Why would he have cameras there? I mean, what what's worth taking pictures of? Didn't really understand. But the manager, I say the manager, he wasn't there for a huge amount of time. He um, he stopped working there one day. I think it was about two months later and some people came in and uh, he went away with them so I don't know if they were going on holiday together and I never saw him again so I don't know what happened to him maybe he and he he liked his holiday destination so much, he decided to stay there, set up home and build his a, a life, a new life. I don't know. When I was about, I think I was about. 13 or 14 and I was living in this little town a new swimming pool was built like this like leisure centre thing and it was a big deal because it took up about three quarters of the town and everyone was well 
I, I'm not saying everyone was excited because I did see at least three people that didn't even seem interested. But there was a big queue. And even though I couldn't really swim, I went along with my friend because I wanted to be one of the first people in there to christen it, if you know what I mean. And in front of me was this man and he had hair lice jumping all over him. It was almost like they were holding some kind of Olympic event. There was everywhere, jumping on him, jumping on his shoulder, jumping back on his head. And I'm not really sure why I'm telling you about that. I just remember it. I didn't say anything to him because... Well, it's a weird conversation opener. How do you start a conversation with... Uh, you got a hair lice jumping all over you. How do you get into that? Oh, excuse me, hi. How are you today? I like your shoes. Oh, the weather's been a bit cold, isn't it? Yeah, it was really nice to meet you. You remind me of a teacher I had when I was a kid, and he was the only teacher that was nice to me. He was the maths teacher, and I never understood maths, and he actually took the time to sit down um, on my lap and explain to me all about numbers and odd numbers and even numbers and the basics in fractions and he, he, he gave me the time and was just very very kind to me and you remind me of that man of that teacher who was pretty much the the only bright light in many years of schooling which I didn't necessarily enjoy and he was the by far the best teacher that I had ever ever met before or since although I don't meet many many now because I'm not at school anymore um, and he said oh well thank you I said, you're welcome, it's fine. By the way, you're covered in lice, you dirty pig. He said, what? I said, you're covered in lice, you old tramp. He said, I heard I heard you saying I'm, I'm covered in lice, but did you have to call me a dirty pig and an old tramp? I said, I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. It's just so disgusting. Seeing all those hair lice jumping all over you. Um, it started to put me off my omelette. He said, why are you eating an omelette in a queue to a swimming baths? I said, I think you're fine at swimming pool now. We're not in the 70s anymore. He said, okay, swimming pool, why are you eating an omelette? I said, the same reason anyone eats an omelette. Because I like omelettes. He said, you're just weird. I said, I'm weird. I haven't walked into the swimming pool with 10,000 dirty ant-like flea creatures jumping all around. You're going to infest the, the whole country with that head of yours. And he said, listen, I think I've had enough of you. I said, what do you mean you think you've had enough of me? He said, well, I'm not sure. I'm just waiting to see what you say next. Because, you know, you might be nice again, like you were with the teacher. And I said, yeah, fair enough. 
I said that, okay, um, you got lovely ears, he said, oh, thank you, yeah, lovely ears if you're ever in a plane that's about to crash, because you could just jump out and glide down with those things, he said, that was just cruel, why, I've, I've got an issue with my ears being big and sticking out, why would you, why would you say that, I said, I don't know, I'm just a kid. Um, just seemed like the first thing that came into my head. And he said, there's, there's no need, really. You know, I've had a bad day. And uh, I just needed to come here. Take advantage of this swimming pool. The new swimming pool. And just get rid of some stress. And you know, have a nice swim. And I said, uh, okay. Can I borrow some money? He said, what? I said, yeah, can I borrow £10, please? He said, why? I said, because I want to spend £10 on something. Why do you think I want to borrow £10? I wouldn't borrow £10 because I want to spend £20 on something. I'd ask for £20, wouldn't I? I mean, clearly, I'm asking to borrow money because I want to spend some money. But I don't have the money. And I figure that I deserve some kind of reward for having talked to you for, long, for so long. He said, no, but you can have two pound and a jar of peanut butter. I said, well, thanks. Why are you carrying a jar of tea and peanut butter around with you? He said, because I don't like carrying cash. And I said, what? He said, you heard me. I said, look, for a minute there, I thought you were going to do a pun. I thought you were going to say, he don't like carrying around cashew nuts. He said, yeah, that's, why would I say that? I don't know, just seemed like a weird thing to say, just something. He said, can you go away now, please? So, oh, okay, no problem. Um, we kept in touch, but we only really saw each other Christmases after that. Um, always still had the old fleas in his hair all jumping around the head lice that never changed but I got to know some of the head lice and you know they were good people good people so that is um, the end of this boring objects swimming pools And I hope I bored you enough to relax and feel relaxed and calm and maybe you've drifted off to sleep. So thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.